Today, I'm bringing a little piece of Philly to your doorstep with a Philly cheesesteak meatloaf. So welcome back. So a little disclosure, I am not a fan of meatloaf, but this recipe is absolutely amazing and I know that you're gonna love it just as much as I do. So for this recipe, you will need two tablespoons of butter, one small yellow onion diced, one small green pepper diced, eight ounces of brown mushrooms minced, a half a teaspoon kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, two pounds of lean ground beef, one jalapeno chopped, two tablespoons sugar-free ketchup, two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce or coconut aminos, two eggs, and eight ounces of provolone cheese. Before putting any of this together, you're gonna need to preheat your oven at 375 degrees. All right, next up, you're gonna need a large skillet. Add the butter to your large skillet and let that melt down. Once that's melted, you are going to add the onions, the bell pepper, mushroom, jalapeno, and salt and pepper. Give that a quick stir and let that simmer for about one to two minutes. Once that's done, you're going to stir this again and let it sit for another two minutes until everything is brown. Once that mixture is all brown, ready to go, turn off the heat and let that cool on the side for about five minutes. While you're letting the vegetable mixture cool, you're going to start on the base of your meatloaf. In a large bowl, you're going to combine the ground beef, your sugar-free ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, eggs, and the cooled vegetable mixture. Now, most meatloafs call for panko breadcrumbs or Italian breadcrumbs or breadcrumbs in general, but to keep it keto today, I have omitted all of that. But if you want to use something to help melt everything together a little bit better, go back to the chicken parm recipe that I did and use the pork rind mixture and put that in there instead. Once you're done mixing the meat mixture, you are going to need to divide that in two. Take one half of the mixture and put that in your large loaf pan. Next up, you're going to take half of the provolone cheese and lay that on top. You're going to then cover that with the rest of the meat mixture and form it into a rounded top loaf pan. So go ahead and slide that into your preheated oven for about 40 minutes. Once that buzzer dings, you're going to pull that meatloaf back out and you're going to top it with the rest of the cheese that you have. You're going to put that back in the oven for about 20 minutes. All right, so your 20 minutes is up. What now? You are going to actually let that set for about 10 minutes to make sure that everything cools down nicely. It's time to plate it up. You could plate this with asparagus, with some Brussels sprouts, some green beans, anything leafy green to make sure you're keeping this keto. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for this short amount of time. If you wanna know anything else about keeping it keto or you would like me to do a recipe of yours and you're just not sure how to make it keto, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I will do my best to get that for you. If you like it, love it, gotta have some more of it, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share me out. Don't keep me all to yourselves because everybody needs to know how to keep it keto.